Generic greetings and welcome to PC Building Simulator. This is a game where you don't really have to describe what the game is about because the clue is sort of in the title now, isn't it? <laughs> Although, to be fair, to be fair, it's not a proper simulator because it doesn't have a date at the end of its name. Minus 10 generic viewpoints on that one. Anyway, I've played about two hours of the game thus far, most of it in the career mode, which is essentially you going through, getting clients and being offered jobs to build, upgrade, repair, troubleshoot PCs. You can also upgrade your office and get different workbenches and things like that as you progress on. There's also the free build, which is where you build the machine, the rig, the beast, and make the best machine you can with no budget and, um, well, no, sorry, with unlimited budget, with no restraints and then benchmark it and just see what sort of numbers you get of it. I prefer the career mode, I think it's just got a little bit extra to it. Now I originally played the pre-alpha of this game about six months ago and liked the idea of it but I wanted to wait for a proper a commercial release before featuring it and that's why we're here and we're going to be doing a series on it where we'll go through the cream mode and see how far we get and things like that. It might be a mini series, might be longer, we'll see how it goes but the idea is where we'll basically we'll make PCs and upgrade them and progress on through it. Now I'll just go to new game and we'll just sort of crack on into it. Um, They've gone with a with really a no-brainer decision, they've got as many uh, as many uh, partners on board as they can. So you have um, actual proper in-game brands. So you've got like MSI, uh, Coolmaster, um, Gigabyte, that, that sort of thing, uh, EVGA, and I think that's um, quite a decent uh, decent way of doing it. Obviously, uh, they're going to be trying, I assume, to get more and more sponsors that progress on, more parts, more stuff, more better, essentially. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, crack on and see how far we get one, uh, get with this one. So. Uh, as you can see, we've got a lot of posters all the way around, uh, most of them, uh, what, what the hell is that? Um, yeah, it's a monkey. Uh, and loads of different loads of different stuff. Uh, these uh, ghost looking things, this is where we can upgrade stuff, but we need to be a certain level. We're currently level 1, as you can see on the far right, and we've got minus 15 generic units of currency. If we go in here, you can see we have a machine which just says scanning mouse over it, and it says a PC... Uh, can boot to OS, We need that's our objective, and remove viruses. So basically, we need to uh, do that. So we're going to pick this piece up, and then we're going to move it in here. One of the things I, one of the criticisms I do have with this game, and you know, this is only after a couple of hours worth of play, so take with a pinch of salt, is that all the machines we get are like, um, I wouldn't call them fancy ones, but ones that, uh, they're not just like office PCs, you know, like the workhorse. They've always got like side, like really nice cases and side panels and stuff like that. And like some, some you get through and they've got like a 980 Ti in them, but they've only got two gig of RAM. It's like no, that that just wouldn't happen. Where is where is the old school, old school PCs that someone just all they do is they use, you know. Uh, social media, a bit of uh, internet auction stuff, and all they want is just the workhorse fixing, and it's a really small form factor, or, or even better, one of those um, probably horizontal beige cases from like the 90s. Yeah, we need a retro, actually that's what we need, we need a retro um, patch for this one. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So this is our machine and we need to, uh, we need, the objectives are to make it boot and remove the viruses. So we're going to click on that and uh, you can move stuff around, right click, you can see you can spin it around and switch to work on it. There is some glitches like cables coming through that, I'm sure that'll be sort of fixed in uh, due course. And what we need to do is uh, plug away this in. So we're going to go to cable management mode and we're going to click on each cable. And then we're going to plug it in. So there's your power connector. There is your, um, that is HDMI for your monitor. And then you've got one and two uh, USBs. That'll be for your keyboard and the mouse. We also need to, in this case, install our USB drive. And it goes in a, sp a specific part. You can't just put it in anywhere, which is strange. I thought you would be able to put it in any um, USB parts. As I said, it's got a couple of rough edges and stuff, which... Um, Hopefully we'll be ironed out as the progress is on. Anyway, so that's now all plugged in. So we press P and hopefully no blue smoke will start pouring out of it. Well, that didn't happen, which is good. And then it'll boot up. So what we need to do, look at that. We really need some cable management systems here. <laughs> the cable physics are a little bit iffy. They go all over the place at times. Anyway, so we'll click on this one. What we're going to do, we're going to say add remove programs. We're going to go over to, um, and this is from our uh, USB pen. If I uh, if I take that out, so for example, if I click remove, I mean, this is not safely removing it. You understand we didn't uh, do that. You can see add remove programs. There's nothing there. We don't have anything on the pen. So, uh, there's no pen installed, so we need to uh, just do that. I thought I'd just show you how it was, so there we go. We'll install that. And then we'll go back to this one. And what we want to do is go for virus scanner. It'll install a bit of a sort of Microsoft estimate here. It gets to the end, slowly, slowly, slowly creeps up. And then finally, it'll install and then we'll restart the machine. There you go. At the moment, I've only seen Omega uh, OS sort of thing. So I don't know if they're going to add more as the game progresses on. And maybe that's later on. We'll see. So we'll fire up the virus scanner, start scanning there. And uh, it doesn't take long at all. And we've got a 268 infected files, which will clean those. So they're being removed. All we need to do now is put outside. And that's it. There we go. 
So, claim the reward, I will go onto my machine. This is the office PC. So, you've got emails, you've got your shop, music player. So, music player, obviously, you can skip in the in game tracks. So, we'll fire this up. So, uh, first things first, uh, we've got a. Uh, an email from timbu2000 at supermail.com. Hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. A few things. The company didn't, uh, isn't doing very well. And there is no money in the bank account. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, rent and energy bills come out monthly. Make sure you have enough for them. I had a job on the go which should help with the rent, which I've just done. I remember to use your thermal paste when putting the CPU. I almost forgot that. And, <laughs> and uh, the, few, the PCs overheat. So, uh, so I think you're all set up. Best company. Oh, it's, up, uh, it's your company now. So, run it how you see fit, I hope. To, you do better than I did. Okay, lots of love, Uncle Tim. Thanks, Uncle. Uh, also, PS, set up our 15 for fuel. <laughs> you know how it is. Thanks, Uncle. Discard that mail. And then they've got this virus scan. So, hi, Tim. Uh, please can you help me? Something, something virus from Gary. Okay, so I have done that, and it will collect the job, and there we go. That's it. And we've gained some credits. And now, as you can see, we've got another mail. Hi there. Just wanted to say thank you for fixing my PC. Booting faster than it has in years. Didn't realise your uncle had gone away. Looks like the business is in good hands, though. Thanks, Gary. Okay, no problem. You can't reply back to it. Just discard. So, we now have three emails. So, this one here. Hello, I need some more space... Uh, to back up my files. Could you install a 500 GB HDD along with my existing drive, please? I'll bring it around first thing. So install a more Sony EZ Store 500 SATA 3.0 GB per second or better. So we'll accept that. And I will buy components in a moment. We've got one from uh, Mr. P. Sherman. Shavam Sherman Dental. Could you have a look at my PC, please? It's running as well as when I first bought it. Or rather, it's not running. It isn't. Uh, probably not being taken best care of. It looks a bit dirty. Could you give it once over, please? So we need to remove viruses and clean the dust. So we'll accept that one there. And we've got bro broken graphics card from uh, Queen underscore Britney at realinternet.co.uk. Ironically, probably a fake internet. Uh, fake email supplier. Graphics cards uh, fried itself. I need to replace. I need to be replaced with the same one. An NVIDIA GTX 970. Maybe one of those Sheen ones. I can drop around first thing tomorrow okay so we'll accept that so it's in now in transit so we need to get a 500 gig hard drive as well as this here this one here just requires air duster which we've already got so we'll go over to the shop and we'll say graphics cards and we need i believe it was a 970 but i'll double check 970 gamer and sheen yes so let's have a quick look i like the way you can actually minimize that so it does that sort of work like a desktop and you can drag, drag it around as well can you resize you can't resize not that you need to so um we'll say 970 and we've got two of these ones so you've got the sheen geforce gtx 970 gamer and the xl so we're going to go for the gamer there we go and also storage, we'll get rid of the 970 there, and it was a 500 gig, I believe it was a Mortsoni, uh, Easy Star 500, I think it's that one there, let me just double check the email though, um, it is Mortoni EZ Star 500, Mortoni EZ Star 500, bump, there we go, so it's now in our cart, Many options for delivery, either same day delivery, next day delivery, and three to five working days. So obviously that one is cheaper, the three to five working days, but we just want to go for the next day delivery, so we'll buy that one now. When you accept your jobs, um, there's an email there, which is uh, account overdrawn. Yes, yes, yes. So our overdraft limit is a grand, so we'll discard that one. So basically, we uh, when you accept the jobs, it takes them a day to come through. So you generally order the parts for next day, or a lot of jobs say they need to be done within, say, 12 days. So you can probably just order, like, um, the parts in advance. Uh, say, like, oh, sorry, you can you get the jobs in, then just say three to five days delivery and stuff. But it's only, the difference is only, um, is only 20 generic units of currency, and it's it's for any amount you order, so it, you're best off just getting the jobs through. Uh, some nice posts in here. That's a very, very nice sunset over London. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, Mount Fuji. Uh, we've got the, um, the uh, Statue of Freedom, as well as, um, is that Sydney? I think so. What else we got? Um, huh, nothing in here. Okay, fine. Right, we will click on the door. And ending the day, so you can see today, nothing done. Tomorrow, we've got three emails and the delivery. And then you can see utility bills there. So we'll end the day, and then we will go to work. And that's it. So we now have in the hallway, we have some boxes. We'll click on that. So we've got our graphics card and the HDD. No... Um, 
Random events for things getting smashed up or nicked on the way here, but <laughs> that's good, I guess. So we've got upgrade, scan, and fix. So you can see from the post notes on the top generally what stuff is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the easy one first, which is scan and clean out first. And you can already see the dirt, dirt all over the outside of this one. Okay, good grief, look at that. So what we'll do is we will remove the case. So we click on that, and then you get the highlights to say where the screws are. So one, two, and then three and then four and then the case comes off and goes in your inventory and that is absolutely filthy let's go to technically install and use compressed air it would be nice to have the can um like actually have the can like in your hand and stuff because well it's just a bit it's not that uh not that intuitive at the moment but hey ho as i said early access we're not, not gonna knock it, knock it too much are we I'm just gonna clean off these and that's green now, so that should be done. Fine. So remove viruses, clean boot. So we'll say install PC parts. There's the side panel. Uh, one thing I do like, it um, it tells you um, in here. Well, PC parts, obviously that's for this one. It says used. Um, it does tell you who owns the stuff, so you can't just... Well, you can still sell stuff by accident, but it's very, very difficult because it does say who owns things. So, you know, there's that. Uh, there is... Oh, there are, there are, should I say, upgrades that you can buy um, in the store, and I'll show you them in a bit, where you can um, increase, you know, your workforce. So you can, for example, let me just pull this up. Uh, I think, for example, if we go to the shop and we go down to tools, there's an auto connect tool for a grand. Uh, disc cables connect themselves automatically when the PC, uh, when you power the PC. So you just press P and power it up. And then uh, that's it. Random background there, pretty good. So we need to, oh, we need to uh, obviously shove in the USB stick. So we'll go to install, USB drive, plop that in there. Oh, there we go. If you press escape, it uh, aborts the uh, the docking sequence. Let's go to add remove, uh, virus scanner, and then uh, get this plugged in. Hmm. Okay, that's scanner rating. No, it's not. It's installer rating. And now it's installed. We'll restart that. So it's booting Omega OS. I see it would be nice to have more OS and stuff. With this sort of thing, Really, the fundamentals are in place now. It's just about more stuff. More more components, more missions, uh, more stuff like that. You know, and maybe more modes and stuff. Um, but, I mean, the actual going around and, like, you not know, taking, like, the motherboard out and even the standoffs and stuff, all that's down there. So, you know, that's cool. Uh, virus scanner, start scanning, and we've got uh, 502 infected files. Was this from the dentist as well? I don't know what they've been doing with it, but anyway... What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that down there. Now, what I generally do is do all three of them and then just then get rid. But I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually going to collect that just so it goes, so you can see that actually, yeah, it does actually disappear. So the next thing is upgrade and then fix. So we'll go for the fix. So we'll uh, put that down there. So we've got a what case have we got in this one? Is that a NZXT case with? Don't recognise the cooler. It'll probably tell me if I remove it, but I don't really want to. So, uh, the objectives are PC can boot to, uh, to OS, replace graphics card, install Sheen GeForce GTX 970 Gamer. So, we'll rip that off. There we go. You know what I said right at the start of the game is a joke that, you know, it's not a proper, it's not a proper simulator because it doesn't have a date at the end of its name. Well, obviously, they're trying to keep it as universal or as generic as possible by not giving it a date. But ironically, this is going to date far more than many, many other games, like simulator games, because it's using period parts. So we might get, like, 1080s now, but in a year's time, I'm not going to say 1080 is going to be garbage because they're a really good card, but it's going to date very, very, very quickly. Very quickly indeed, especially when you've got, like, your different sockets and things like that um and you know it will quickly become the retro simulator <laughs> unless they keep updating it you understand which i assume um you know they will do as much as it's uh, well assuming it's making cash anyway install pc parts we'll sp they'll support it as much as they can one would hope anyway let's uh, put the cables in there because we haven't got the auto cabling device yet not 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 will we we won't have that for a long time anywhere there we go and we'll press p to power that up i like the way that the uh the thing does actually spin, actually ramps up as well. Yeah, I mean, look, there's quite, there's quite decent amount of, uh, there's, a, there's a decent amount of detail gone into these things, which is good because that's the whole point in this sort of thing. And also, by taking on sponsorship from different companies, they're gonna have, they can't do a hack job on the cases because obviously these companies won't be happy if the case looks like garbage or nothing like what they're supposed to represent. Anyway, so it clean boots. 
that's it. We just need to leave it by the door. You don't have to power it down or anything like that. Obviously, they've streamlined it, so it's uh, a little bit easier. Otherwise, it might be a bit annoying trying to mess around too much. So this is... Uh, PC can boot to OS, but that's that's always the prime objective. There's always the objective to make it work. Uh, and install a Motsoni EZ store. Okay, so what we'll do, put it down there, click on that, rotate it around. And we'll rip this side panel off because I believe the drive bay will be on this side, which it is. There it is, yes. So we'll open that up. Uh, as you can see, the drive bay comes out. Uh, it is... Um, these are all toolless as far as I can tell. Oh no, they're not. I guess the motherboard isn't toolless, but the rest have all got these uh, toolless hand, uh, hand screws. So we'll install the memory. They did say, sorry, storage. They did say on top of their original one. So there's the original. So we'll put that uh, bay back in and then we'll go to cable mode. So we've got the, uh, we've got the power and the, uh, and the SATA connection. So there's the power and um, it can go on any one of these. I'll put it on that one there. It doesn't show you like the, the port, um, the port number, the, um, the number, I'm guessing, uh, if, do I, can I zoom in and see it? Uh, no, I can't see the, the, the exact details, which to be fair, that's like, you know, really getting to, you know, so not, not pointless stuff, but it's getting into uh, quite detailed stuff. They're also all got modular power supplies as far as I can tell. There's no, like, just big brick, uh, of, uh no huge, like, uh, tail of wires coming out, like a massive loom where you have to f mess around with it. I, I built a machine... Um, probably four years ago now. I've had this current. I have the, I've had my current rig about two, uh, just over two years. Uh, in fact, I know exactly when I bought it. I bought it the day after Fallout Four came out. <laughs> um, that's when I got my current machine as of the time recording. Um, but the one before that, I I built and uh, I can't remember how much I spent on it. But one of the things I did, I bought a decent uh, Corsair. Um, I think it was a six hundred or maybe eight. I think it was a six hundred watt gold rated power supply. But I cheaped out and didn't get the uh, modular, so it just had this huge pile of cables. And that I really wish after I just after I'd built that machine that I'd spent an extra twenty quid on getting that sorted because, quite frankly, it was a nightmare. Still regret every day. Well, not every day, but you know, every time I had to work on it, it was a nightmare all the time. Anyway, that now boots, and we can leave it by the door. So that's those three done. Sweet. So that should be it. We just need to go over to the computer and uh, the cogitator and we'll say replace air cooler, clean that out, accept that one. Um, oh, sorry. That's another one. Sorry. Hi. I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly. It's been getting very hot lately and running slow and slow. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives, uh, it lives on the floor and dusty office. So yeah, it's probably clogged up. Either way, what I'll do is I will uh, collect the uh, job for the um, graphics card replacement and also uh, for the uh, the hard drive so there we go there's those so PC building simulator team so congratulations I've reached level 2 so we've now unlocked the uh, cryog never heard of those a uh, case fan 6th gen Intel core processors auto connect tool and then lo look at all that loads of processor stuff nice sweet uh, the next milestone 3 unlocks the Ryzen quad cores and the MD uh, AM4 socket motherboards we'll discard that one so Help quickly. Hello, mate. Uh, I need your help. I borrowed my mum's brand new PC and I think I've clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's riddled with viruses. I need it done before she gets back from her friend's house on the 1st of the 4th, 2018, which is two days. Please hurry. No, no, please, but yeah. Hurry. Cheers, Harry. Move viruses complete by the end of day two days, essentially. So we're going to take that one. That's just the first example of a day to one. And then we got uh, Audrey in 1945. Not very good with computers. Oh, that's we've already that one. What's this one? This is um, GSXE... G-S-X-G-E off at pmail.com Stuff my new daughter's PC. Hi, I'm giving my daughter uh, I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs a lot of RAM apparently. She needs she doesn't need at least 16 gig and I've currently got 2 and 4 gigabyte RAM slots available. Thanks Jeff. Okay, so this is where we've got a realistic sort of thing where the client said this is what I need and it's up to us to figure it out. We know what the payment is, 280. Um, obviously in reality, we would quote them and stuff like that, but yeah, they're going to give us 280 for it. Upgrade to 16 gigabyte RAM. I'm going to accept that. So, um, they've got two and four gigabyte RAM slots. They need 16 gigs of RAM. So, assuming standard motherboard, they'll have four slots available. So, we can't do it with two gig slots because that'll be two, four, six, eight. That's it. They can only have eight. So, it needs to be four, gigabyte, four gigs of RAM in each one of those slots. Now, we're assuming perhaps wrongly that they've already got two or four gig in there so if we wanted to what we could do go to the shop go to uh, memory 
and we could get say the more uh, the Mortoni value supreme 4 gig yeah and we could get three of them hoping that they have a fourth already in there that would take up the 4 gig in reality i'm just going to do that add it to the cart i'm going to add uh, that up to 4 gig and just call it done because there's no way i'm going to uh, risk it and also the part will stay in the office i can use it whenever there's no problem with that all right cool right what else did we need uh, in terms of the emails it was remove viruses ram and replace air cooler okay so we need to go for the shop and then it is cooling it says air cooler what type of air cooler though it didn't say whether it was a case van or whether it was a processor fan I'm going to assume processor, so I'm going to buy one of those. And what socket? They haven't told me what socket it is either, but it looks like there's pretty much every socket in the list there. Most of these ones anyway come with multiple mounts and stuff, so we'll, we'll add that to cart. There's our cart there, and we will say next day delivery, buy that now, and your delivery will arrive tomorrow. Excellent! So, that is our very first day in PC building simulator. Yeah! Fairly basic stuff, pretty good though, but um, as it progresses on, don't worry, we'll, we'll be removing motherboards, we'll be doing standoffs. I don't think it goes into details such as, uh, things such as like uh, BIOS and jumper settings, I don't know if that's their aim. It would be nice to have that. Would, I, there's been a couple of games where I've played this sort of, like the idea of building PCs and running a computer shop. I think there's one called uh, Hardware hardware engineer or something like that. There's a couple of others as well. And I always go, just, just more, more advanced, like have a really hard advanced mode where if you get jumper settings wrong, if you get uh, bio settings, you'll overheat it, you'll crash stuff, you could damage things if you get, like all that sort of stuff would be really cool. And also fault finding, like just checking conditions of things as well. That would be really, really good. But hopefully that's what they'll do. That's my personal touch in it. Like, well, everything is my personal touch in it because, you know, it's all opinion, isn't it? But you know what I'm saying. I would uh, like to see that. But as, as I'm recording, they ain't got it. But uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. Still enjoying it. So next episode, we will click on the door and go the next day. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.